What's going on YouTube? JD back for another edition of JD Plays. This time we're going to be doing Dungeons, Dragons, and Space Shuttles. An expert mode Minecraft pack. Uh, this one is made by a gentleman by the name of Freebie Pierce. He has a Discord server. Pretty awesome pack so far from what I've experienced. I will be doing this pack in two flavors. I'll have a live stream going on my Twitch channel, Twitch TV slash JD on 77. That'll be on this server, and I'll be doing a Let's Play series on YouTube via this server so that I can keep the two in sync. So if you find yourself enjoying the series, by all means, hit that like button. Don't be afraid to subscribe if you're interested and keeps me happy. And obviously, leave comments, interact, let me know what I'm doing poorly, what I could be doing better, and I'll be happy to try to address that for you. And at the same time, if you want to have more interaction with me, by all means, come by the live stream. Come hang out. I love interacting with people that play the game. Come tell me, you know, how you're doing in your version of the pack. Uh, tell me what I'm doing wrong. You know, all that good stuff. That being said, let's get started. We've got a brand new world. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's set to morning. Because with this being an expert mode pack, we do not want to spawn in onto our server in the middle of the night. Um, per the mod pack curator's advice i have gone ahead and pre-generated a certain number of chunks uh around my spawn area which should make my loading a bit cleaner uh i do have the game mode i was going to play the game mode on hard but it was suggested to play it on normal first so we'll play it on normal first why not uh, but i'm yeah, potentially doing a hardcore playthrough down the road maybe on this because hardcore has been more and more appealing to me with minecraft uh, so we'll see where that goes this is a quest based pack here we go, we got Dawn, Dawn of the Dinosaurs. We are spawned into a taiga. You will see that I do already have certain things pre-configured from playing on my server. For example, my uh, one probe is set up to look more like Wayla. Oh nice, we've got some ships. I think these come from uh, roguelike dungeons. But yeah, this is a quest based pack. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna open our quest book. We're gonna see that, hey, you've got a reward shop. This reward shop operates on coins. These coins come from Thermal Foundation. They'll be the quest reward we get from a lot of quests. We have Wild Hunt. This is just your, your basic mob killing and tracking quests. And we have our main storyline quests throughout here. And they're fairly, you know, uh, well mapped out. As with most mod packs, we're going to start off with some checkbox tasks. This one is to give you the updates to the latest quests after an update happens. And... Quick, let me click that. Same here. This is going to be another checkbox task that explains to you how the copper coins work, what tiers give you what coins, all that good business that you might want to know about for getting your quest rewards and how you can go, you know, where you can get what tier of coin to spend it. This tells you about the Akashic Tome and how you can use that tome to absorb all other books you find so you only have to carry around one instruction manual. And now we get to our first real quest. Stop punching wood with your Mike Tyson fist and use that copper axe in your inventory. So we need to get some wood and some sticks, okay? And, you know, it's, it's the usual dance with Minecraft. Uh, they do provide you with a starter axe. This axe has uh, venom. They give you the first Akashic Tome, your first quest book. I don't remember starting with apples in the past, but apparently we do. That's cool. Uh, you also start off with this basic backpack. And there's a couple hotkeys you're going to want to know about. Now, you can open this by right-clicking on it and just viewing it. But... A lot of times your inventory won't display if you do it this way. So hit Shift B and you'll equip it. And now you can access that just by hitting B. Okay, and you're, it'll show a lot better here. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of some stuff and just put it in there. I don't wanna lose any of this stuff. And in the beginning it does have soul bound on it. And I, so it will stay with you through death. Just kind of a big deal, so yeah. Go ahead and chop down our first tree. And then we need to get on our way to trying to find some wool and things to protect us from the night if I can jump. I don't have to put more logs down, but I'm going to have to. Dang it, game. I hate leaving floating trees. I also hate wasting durability having to do this. Alright, so we got some logs. I think it wanted me to get five. Now, we know this is an expert mode pack because we only get two spruce planks at a time. Bust that out. And then we know further that it's an expert mode pack because we only get two sticks at a time. There we go. All right. So that'll give us this first quest. It'll give us two additional oak wood. Next quest, make a crafting table, make some tools. Let's not dig with our hands in the dirt and get them all mucky. 
So, crafting table. I'm going to go ahead and convert this directly into a crafting station. Pop that bad boy down. Let's get some wood. And let's make a wooden pickaxe and a wooden shovel. So there's the pick, there's the shovel. That should get this thing done. That's going to give us a wooden sword. Up. And now we're off to some basic resources. Gather up 16 dirt, 16 cobble, 16 sand, 16 clay, 16 gravel. Let's collect different resources for a shelter and in other important steps. All right, sounds good. Let's go ahead and pick this guy up. Obviously, we've got some sand right here. Let's just go ahead and scoop this stuff up as we go. We've got dirt all around us. We'll be looking for some clay and some gravel. Now, what you're going to find as you play through this pack is that there are various types of clays, or not clays, gravels, uh, cobbles. Um, it's really cool. I like it a lot, actually. Uh, the good news is they all count. Okay, It doesn't matter which type of cobblestone you collect, nor does it matter which type of gravel you collect. They both count towards the quest. So the fact that there is some, we'll call this day site here from underground biomes. And we'll go ahead and break this. And if we look, this gives day site cobble. Well, that counts towards the 16 cobble that I need. So let's go ahead and scoop this up. And if we hit Z on our keyboard, we're going to see, hey, we can expand our inventory hotbars. This kind of lets us see on the fly what's in our inventory, but it also lets us hot swap bars. So if I were to hit one right now, it would switch my hotbar from the one that I'm using to the row that one is on to make that my active hotbar. So you can very quickly switch between hotbars if you need to. The other thing you'll notice is that even though I'm not going down there and picking it up and I have no kind of like ring of magnetization or anything like that, uh, the items that I'm breaking are going directly into my inventory. Uh, I forget which mod does that, but it's a nice little feature. Um, at first I was kind of like, do I like that? And the more I played with it, I'm like, yeah, I really like that. So that is a thing. All right, so we've already got our cobble, our sand. Let's grab our dirt right quick. One, two, three, four. All right, there's our dirt. And let's just kind of get a gauge our surroundings. So we got a big mountain over there. I don't want to try to climb that. I got ships all around me. We got some kind of pink slime. I want to know if there's anything on these ships, but I've noticed that there are a lot of potential water creatures. And so I want to be careful of those. But let's come out here to this boat. Look here, right here. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. I wasn't sure if there was anything on these, but because uh, I've only seen them one time before, a long time ago. I think these are spawned in by roguelike dungeons. But the main reason I was coming was to get this wool, and I was just hoping we'd find some other loot as well. Because this will let us get our first bet, right? Night is dangerous in this pack. We want to be able to not deal with night as much as possible. And having a bunch of wool will definitely help with that. Now scoop all this up. And then I'm probably going to actually break down this boat a bit and go check out those other boats now that I know there's potential for loot to be on them. Who doesn't like free loot, guys? Girls? Children of all ages? I know I like free loot. And scoop up. Whoa. Activated a different hotbar. See? What happens? Now, do I want these fences? I don't think I want these fences yet. Uh, I like fences. There's a lot of really good uses for fences. But I don't think I want any right now. So what I do want to do, though, is I want to grab all this. All right. And what's in the chest here? We got some nitric acid, some bones, and some arrows. Okay. Doesn't seem super useful, but maybe we'll find some use for some of that stuff. Let's make two things. Let's make a boat so I can go check out these other boats. And let's go ahead and get our first bed made. And that way we have that done and, you know, night comes along, we can be safe. Plop that guy down. Plus, we can, you know, this seems like we're on a big ocean bay. I think it'll just be better to have a way to get around quickly. And I don't, I know I've seen some water creatures on my server. I don't know if they can attack you in the boat, but it's not going to surprise me either way. We're going to roll out here. Check out this other little boat real quick. Some guardians over there. Looks like there's a desert biome. That's good. Uh, you... It is to your advantage to know where a desert biome is. I'm going to tell you right now. That looks like the same thing in this one. Uh, do we think it's worth scooping up all of this? There's a slime island. Nice. That'll probably come in handy. We still haven't done our clay or our gravel yet on our resource gathering, but that's okay. We'll get there, I promise. 
I, I, I can't pass up on free loot, I'm sorry. You guys are going to be like, ah, just leave the chests, go start building. Don't worry, dudes, ladies, we will get to the building process. Right, free wool. Why do I need so much wool? Well, there's like 35 things you can do with wool. Most of it's probably not stuff that I care about. But, alright, we got two different biomes, it looks like, popping up on my screen. It looks like there's maybe a red sand desert there, and then just a desert over there. So I'm going to have to go do some investigatory journalism on this stuff soon. It's nice and bright and early where I'm at, so, you know, coffee for the win. That is a big mountain behind that. Oh, there's another slime island right there. Nice. I just heard like a bird. I'm not gonna... Really? Oh, did I not pick up that... Um, I didn't even steal the chest last time. Definitely want the chest. I'm not gonna take all the wool off this, uh, these other two boats right now. Uh, I'll know that these are here. If I want to come back at a later point and get the wool, no problem. But just to kind of speed things up. Alright, at least this time we got a bow. To go with these arrows we're finding. So we've got our, our first ranged weapon. That'll come in handy. Okay. Alright, I see some sugar cane. And I think I see something more important than sugar cane. Or is that just flowers? It's just flowers. Okay, I thought I was seeing cotton for a second there. Cotton would be really nice. But I do see something that I need right here beside the sugar cane. And that is gravel. So that'll come in handy. We need 16 of this as well, right? That leaves us just any clay. And so here's what I was talking about. Here's some siltstone gravel versus uh, daysite gravel. Um, either one works towards the count. You can mix and match them. The game does not care. Okay. So we've got a little gravel going on. Let's go ahead and pop this sugar cane because that will come in handy. Get a little look. It looks like we're like kind of on an island. And we have tons of different kinds of animals. Look at this. Hamsters, Holstein bulls. There's a mod installed called Animania, and it really kind of puts animals on steroids. It's pretty awesome. All right, so Toluol, obtained from coal productions. Broken trade chips may carry trade or nitric acid. I see what's going on. Okay, so those are those are considered trade chips. Very cool. Let's uh, drop our bed down. Catch some Z's, skip the zombies, because we don't have time for that. We've already been 10 minutes in, and we don't even have a base, and we're not advanced into the techno age yet. What is this? Maple wood? What, what, what was that crazy bird sound? Like that scared me. I'm scared. All right. I right, look. Okay, so this is one of the many shrines we can find in the world. Um, I don't have a lot of experience with astral uh, sorcery. But I know that these shrines oftentimes can have treasures hidden under the pillars. So let's see if there's any treasure under these pillars. I also just happen to like these marble bricks. If I had a better pickaxe, I might go after all of these. And if I had some clay... There we go. Treasure. And look at that. Alright. So these are constellation papers. When you pick them up, you learn them. So it'll say right down here, you, uh, you memorize a drawing of Visio. Like I said, I don't know much about Astral Sorcery, but we learned Visio and Dissidia. Okay. We're going to get a gold coin. Nice. A powdered donut, some baklava, iron ingots, and more bones. We're finding all the treasures, that's for sure. Uh, if, you, if you're somebody who likes exploring for loot, uh, you'll definitely find yourself doing a lot of that in this pack, I think. I could be wrong, but... The, the very little that I've played it, I, I find myself constantly looking for treasure. And there are so many boats out here. I'm, it's, it's insane that there's so many out here. Okay, so I think I've fairly well explored my little island here. I was hoping to find some clay right here off one of these shores really easy like. Um, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away, Guardian. Guardian was trying to nuke me. All right, what do we got in here? Any easy access? Look right here. All right, so here's some copper. Now, I know from playing a bit that copper is going to come in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and scoop this copper up. 
But I really want to get to a better pickaxe ASAP. Because look how long this is taking. If I can get it, but it ain't fun. Looks like we're going to get four here. And we're going to be getting close to being out of inventory space. So I really, really, really need to find the clay. Uh, so we can progress into uh, stone tools. I mean, we could progress now. But then I'll have to remake the stone tools again. I don't want to do that. Ah. But I... Ah. Alright, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to do it. I'm going to make at least... I usually have to do two of these anyways, so it's okay. So what I want to do is... Um, and decide... But I just... Yeah, there we go. So we're going to make a all-in-one tool. Okay, if you're not familiar with what an all-in-one tool is, don't worry, we'll talk about it real quick. But all-in-one tool is just take your standard everyday tool set. So pickaxe, shovel, hoe, right? Pickaxe, hoe, shovel. Make an axe, okay, axe. And then go ahead and make yourself a sword. Okay, and then we combine those all together and you'll get back an all-in-one tool. I call this an AOT. All right. And what this does is it functions as all tools you could possibly need in a single slot, which makes life a lot easier when inventory, you know, space is at a premium. And right now, inventory space is definitely at a premium. What this does for us is it makes us mine a lot faster. And, you know, the golden rule of Minecraft that I've always said if you've ever watched me play is resources are infinite, time is not. Always find ways to do things faster if you can. Um... Copper is one of the most important early game resources we're going to need. So I do not want to miss out on the opportunity to get some when we come across it. This is a pretty deep, dark cave. Alright, so right here we have what are called cave roots from cork. You can eat these. Okay, these little beans, if you punch them, you can eat these. So this is food. We got a little more copper right here, but we got to watch this beehive. I don't want these bees to start going ham on me. They will. There's so, something over that hill, and it probably wants to eat my face. So I'm just going to snatch this copper, and then we're going to get out of here. What is that? It's like a giant elephant guy with tusks, and he's carrying a pillar and wants to smack me with it. I don't feel that I'm welcome here any longer. Just go ahead and uh, be out of here. Just back up to 16 cobble right quick since we use this to make the AOT. Oh, there's more copper back here. We're getting really lucky with this amount of copper that I'm finding. How much is that so far? 16 copper. I, I'm happy with that. I usually do not have that kind of luck with finding that much copper right off the bat. Alright. So we've explored our starter aisle. I've collected what I think I'm going to be able to collect. I'm still trying to find that clay. Is that clay over there? Yes. All right. We got clay right here. Finally. Let's break up the shovel. Get rid of this bad man pajama. I'm just going to go ahead and take this dirt block out. So clay. We want lots and lots of clay. It's beautiful stuff. Switch over to the AOT. There we go. That quest is now complete. Beautiful. We're still going to go ahead and continue to pick up clay though. Because having clay on hand... Wait, no. I don't see any more right there. I think this is the last block. All right, cool. Nice. All right, so that gets another quest done for us. And this will let us pick 10 of whatever we need for when we need it later. So here was the quest I was talking about, why I didn't want to make all the stone tools. Had I just kept looking a little bit longer, we could have bypassed all this. But I didn't, so it is what it is. That being said, let's grab some rice right here. A little bitty frog, dart frog. Another one. So cute. I really do like this Animania uh, mod. It's pretty cool. Bunch of clay right here. We're going to scoop this up. Clay is really useful. Uh, we can make quite a bit of stuff out of it in the early game. And so having a bunch of it on us, not a bad idea at all. Now whether we need this much clay, that's debatable. Alright. Um, I don't really need this sword anymore. Or this pickaxe. 
I'm going to put the ingots up here because we're not going to use those right now. Not going to be using those astrology things. And now I'm going to turn around and pick right back up what I just threw down because I'm a smart person. Okay. Got some good clay. Let's head back to our boat. I kind of want to go explore what else is out there and start looking for a potential base location. Um, if I don't more or less arrive at one, you know, fairly directly, uh, I'll probably cut away and come back once I actually have one. Is this a rubber tree? Yes, that is huge. My friends, that is a big deal. I am happy about this. We didn't even have to find a village. We're going to need rubber at some point in the game. But the fact that we found a rubber tree this early, let us get some saplings and rejoice in this. That is a big deal. We are having all the luck. Thank you guys for giving me the luck in the start of this little series. To find things that I know I'm going to need. Such decent amounts. A few more saplings up. Oh, there's another one. Oh my goodness, man. I'm so happy right now. Get all these delicious saplings gathered up. And I'm, there's two more right here. That, there's th there's a whole forest of them. I'm, I'm happy. Just going to grab these guys up for saplings. Plus, we're going to need the wood for making charcoal and stuff at some point. Once we kind of get our base established. Getting close to nightfall. So we'll need to sleep again to ward off the, the evil that is the night. But hey, there's sheep. A ram to be... Loving it. Uh, I'm going to leave one rubber tree here. Just in case, you know, someday I'm like, man, I really could use a rubber tree and I don't know where one is anymore. All right, so we got a mallow berry bush. I don't, mm, don't think I want to take that with me. Um, oh, let's use the Akashic Tome right quick. So let's say that you've got the Akashic Tome and if you hold, if you open this, it'll show you, hey, you've already got these manuals inside. Okay. If you click one of these, It'll become that manual. So, for example, let's say you wanted to customize your one probe. You could click this. It would become the one probe manual. You can do this or this. You know, there's... Um, how do you do it? Shift right click to do that. So, yeah. But let's say you want to put it back. Well, just shift left click and it'll go back. Okay? You could also take this and combine them. And it'll give you back a new Akashic Tome. And it'll have two of these actually editions manuals. I don't really want to do that. So, I'm just going to toss this out. That's cool. But I'm going to go ahead and take these mallow berries. Um, I don't know that I want them, but kind of a, what's the word? A, uh, oh, I can't think of the word. Pack rat, that's the word. That's what I was looking for. All right, we're going to get over here to our boat. Let's pull out our bed, sleep through the night. And a two is now done. I don't want to set us. Oh, it's 10:24. Whilst we're waiting, Cal's going to sleep. He's like, "Yo, it's bedtime, bro. I'll have some coffee while I sleep." Okay, we got our bed back, and we are off. So I could keep looking for loot in these chests, but I did see. I think it was out this direction, right? What looked like a desert. So let's go check that out real quick. It's just to the south. Let's see if this is another island or not. Knowing where a desert is, is a good thing. Because sandstone is going to become important very soon. Um, and having easy access to sandstone... Because you can craft sandstone, but it's not as easy as putting four sand together. Look at that. Look at that tower on top. That, my friends, is a roguelike dungeon. There's all kinds of loot in there, but it is also fairly deadly. There's going to be all kinds of spawners. It's a lighthouse. That's freaking awesome. Love it. I love, I love roguelike dungeons. I think it's one of the coolest mods. Very creative. Tons of squid spawning. That's kind of squid apocalypse. I'm just going to park my boat back there. I'm going to come steal all of this uh, lovely, lovely asparagus looking sugar cane. Oh, no, 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 bees. No, stop, bees. Bees. 
they were not happy with me, guys. Those bees were like, uh, no, sir. Get away from our base. Tons of cobble right here. Look, you can already see the zombies. There's tons of zombies spawning in there. I'd like to go in there and investigate, but if I do, they're going to try to eat me. And I don't want to be eaten right now. But just to kind of give you guys a glimpse, break down some terracotta right here. And we can see inside, there's a trap door. Okay, there's spawners all in here. There's a spawner, there's spiders over here, skelly. So it's a very dangerous place. Not the place for old JD right now. We're not armored, we're not armed appropriately. Let's just continue on our path of exploration, looking for our homeland, shall we? But very cool. Alright, so this is a big, huge desert. Like we got red sand and yellow, so if I'm looking for particularly for red sand for some reason, I know I can find some here. And by the way, my map is generated using Quark Realistic, as far as I'm aware. I was advised that that's one of the better map generations for this pack. So uh, I, I'm not sure if that's the realistic setting on uh, single player, but I know on multiplayer you can set it to Quark Realistic and you'll get map generation similar to this. And from what I've seen, it can make some pretty awesome biomes. Now that is a ship. I don't know what that thing was that just jumped at me. But I have a feeling <clears throat> I have a feeling that's a deadly ship. What is this? Over here. Oh god. What is that? We're gonna turn and go away from this place. Is it after me? There's an airship! Okay, this place is crazy. But we need to find a place to be safe and live. And not be attacked by sea monsters. There's just more and more of these boats everywhere. Dun, 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 dun. See all the sandstone? And we can just scoop all this up without having to craft it ourselves. Ah, it's glorious. Sandstone is important for uh, paper production, by the way. But I really would like to find something besides desert biomes. Like, I'm finding tons of desert biome right now. Lots of sugar cane. Okay, there's like uh, some kind of a shrine over there. I think that's from Evil Craft, maybe? Let's jump off here. We'll just take our boat. Let's put the 64 clay balls in there, because we're going to need those. Put away our rubber tree saplings, as well as our rubber. And now we're kind of maxed on inventory space at the moment. We'll continue to pick up sugar cane as we go, because, well, you can almost never have enough sugar cane, right? All right, these little shrubs, we can get sticks out of those. Might be a good idea. I don't see anything super appealing about that shrine, so I'm just going to kind of keep my distance and move on past it. I don't see it doing anything great. Okay, finally I see some stone. Stone's a good sign. Maybe we can find a biome besides the desert, but it doesn't look like it. It just looks like a giant stone pillar. Desert mountains. I do see all kinds of ore in it, though, so that could be good. Like, look at all that iron ore on that thing. And is that coal? We're definitely going to be mining this guy. All right, let's look at where we're at quest-wise because, I, you know, redstone is in this. What's going on with this? It's like some random spike out in the middle of the desert. Uh, we need to be careful of that. Bad things can happen. Alright, let's look at our quests. Stone Age. That's where we're at, right? Well, I don't feel bad about redoing that because now I'm about to get a lot of stone. So, um, Can we get regular wood out of this? Yes. Okay, cool. Sticks. Great. Okay. Split these. Put that guy there. So, this, 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 this. Beep, beep, beep. This. Beep. And this. Beep. Great. Um, we'll just leave this in there for now. Oh yeah. And we gotta make one of these. 
But I need another piece of the cobblestone for this. So this is what I was talking about a minute ago. You can mix and match, right? That's cobble. That's daysite cobble. We still can get a oven out of this, a furnace. And that should complete this. It does. Fantastic. All right. Uh, let's put this on the bar because we're going to need to start getting some charcoal going. Now, you can hit U on any item to see its usages. This will smelt 1.5 items. Okay, so we're just going to put this in here, and I'm going to start smelting down some logs. It looks like we're going to go with rubber woods to start. Oh, wait, we can't cook rubber wood, can we? We can cook... Wait, what? Oh, it's just... What? Oh, there we go. All right, we can cook rubber wood. Cool, so that's got us making charcoal. Just some... This, all right, set home. So this pack actually allows for a set home command to be used. So if we, I think we have to have one level of experience though. Set home. Okay, so our home is set. And if we walk over here, up there, you type slash home. It'll tell you, hey, stand still for five seconds. Stand still for five seconds. Watch, it'll teleport us back. There we go, we're back at our home. So that's how that works. It wants me to have a level. Are you, are you really being serious right now? Fine. Go rabbits till we get a level, I guess. Um... Let's just plant this. We can't. Boo. We have to use this as a form of storage for a moment. Oh, we can make another uh, AOT out of those other things that we just harvested. That'll be fine. Uh, we'll go ahead and kill the sheep. And we do need to eat, so let's have a donut. And how's our furnace doing? So if you notice, we're getting tiny charcoal instead of charcoal, right? Each tiny charcoal will smelt four items. So we're just going to put this back in here. I don't know why the server keeps doing that, but that's fine. And let's go ahead and pull this stuff out for a second. Put all this stuff back in. Make another AOT. Just kind of conserve inventory space. Rabbit hide. What's it good for? We can turn this into leather. Okay. We can also make rabbit chunks. Oh, mop chunks is in this pack. I did not realize that. That's cool. Okay, let's pick up all of our floating debris here. Let's eat this baklava. And we still need to kill a few more things to get some more experience. Do we get experience from mining coal? I can't remember. I don't want this. Can you eat this for me, cactus? Yes, thank you. Cactuses make good early trash cans. Yes, we get experience from mining coal. I'll take it. There we go. All right, so we can proceed with our quest now. Detect, submit, one level, claim up our reward. Nice. All right, now we're on to actually making charcoal briquettes. So that'll come in handy. It is about to be nighttime, so that's cool. We're just going to mine for a few minutes while we wait on that. And then we'll get some sleep. We've already got the charcoal briquettes cooking up over there. That's the tiny charcoal that we're making. That's going to come in handy. No base yet. Um, I'll probably look for a good base location between this episode and the next since we're already at the 30 minute marker. But we're going to go ahead and knock out a few more quests before we call it the end of episode 1. Because, well, like a good thing to do. I am glad that we found such easy access to all this coal. Beautiful. All right, sun has gone down and the moon has come up. Got some sleep and some coffee. Beautiful. Scoop our bed back up. And once again, this is kind of the beauty of this mod that lets you pick things up without being near it is as long as you can mine it like this, you'll get it. And that's... I like that. I think that's pretty cool. Makes things a lot easier for me. Apparently I've just now entered the Stone Age somehow. I'm not 
Sure. How did that happen like that? What's going on? I've been mining stone. Haven't I? Maybe not. Okay, we have no room for our iron. Let's fix that. We're going to get rid of siltstone. Uh, by the way, things like limestone and siltstone, those are considered smooth stone for a lot of recipes. So keep that in mind. They don't have to be, like if we want smooth stone, we have to go cook cobble. But limestone and siltstone are considered smooth stone variants uh, in their base form. Not for all recipes, but they do work for certain recipes. Just a, a tip that I figured out. Now we are getting lots of iron. Wow. This is our lucky day, guys. This is awesome. You know what? I think we're to a point now. I'm going to stop. I'll mine the rest of this stuff off camera. We've got, we should have enough charcoal and stuff to, to continue on with our questing here. So let's grab this and this and swap it with this. And that should meet the qualifications for the charcoal briquettes. Now, if we hit U on these, we'll see. You can combine these guys to make charcoal. We need two charcoal. So one, two. Bam. And let's just toss that limestone out. That finishes that. As a reward, we're going to get 12 tiny charcoal. Huzzah. It'll move us on to finding coal. Well, we've already mined 10 coal, right? So let's go ahead and just stick... Um, let's put this in here. And... Not sure what I want to do at the moment, to be perfectly honest with you. Let's go ahead and start cooking up these 16 copper. That aligns perfectly to get all 16 of these cooked. Um, we'll take our block of coal right here. Claim this. That's going to move us on to, hey, what about clay? What about clay? Well, if we want to make a block of clay, you're going to have to do more than four. Four gets you unfired plates. You're going to need nine. Blocks of clay are expensive in this pack. That'll knock out this one. It'll give us a choice of sawdust. Actually, we get sawdust, coal saw burger, and a coin. All right. I think I'm going to drop some of that. Sawdust drop. And I can't be losing my sawdust. I need that. All right. So next it says, hey, what if you made some of this sandy coal compound? Well, I have no idea how to make that. So if we click this, it'll take us to the recipe. And let's say that I want to be able to find this recipe easy again later. You'll notice we have JEI over here. There's this other one over here. If you hold hit A while hovering over something, it will add it to this. This is like a set of bookmarked recipes that you might want to make frequently. But to make this sandy coal compound, we just need a block of clay, a block of coal, some sand, and some sawdust. Well, I think we can pull that off, guys. So, block of clay, block of coal, sawdust, Sand. What is this? Terracotta. I don't need terracotta really. But and we get two of these. So that knocks that out. And we're going to have our choice of items here. We're not going to choose yet. Now I can't go any further in the questing until I meet the second requirement of the handsaw. And to get to the handsaw, we need to get copper. We need tin. Well, we've got those cooking up. The other quest that we could go after right now would be prepared flesh, which we need four zombie flesh for. I don't have that yet. And that's how we're going to be going about making some leather, obviously. Uh, apple trees. Now, if you remember, we started the game off with some apple saplings right here. Um, we're going to use those to make our, uh, I'm sorry, with our apples. We're going to use those to make our apple saplings. But we're at 35 minutes. So I've got a bunch of stuff to do, like mining all this stuff and getting the rest of this stuff prepped. So we will continue on with our questing in the next episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. It feels good to be back on YouTube making some episodes for you guys. If you did like it, hit that like button. If you liked it a lot, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. The bell icon if you want notifications. As always, remember, I am streaming this pack as well, a separate world. Twitch TV slash JD on 77. I'll leave a, leave a link in the description. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all take it easy. Laters.